Here are five tips for home buyers out in today's market where the interest rates are fluctuating. So stay tuned. Laura Gallen here with Mountain Prairie Living Empowered by ERA Shields. Welcome to my channel. I am so glad you're here. Here are some tips to help you when you are out there home buying during this market. So one of the first most important things you need to do is sit down with your lender and make sure you're evaluating your budget and the loan options that that particular lender that you've chosen has to work with. Remember, there are a variety of lenders out there. Each one will have different loan programs. If you use a mortgage broker, they have a little bit more variety to choose from. If you use a standard bank, they only have the programs that that bank offers. So they can't go outside of that. So just keep that in mind when you're choosing a lender. Lock in your interest rate once you go under contract. So the minute you're under contract, lock that interest rate. So you should already know what your program is and make sure you lock the rate. And don't be afraid to ask the lender if they can pitch in. some have some opportunities to offer some money towards your rate buy down or that. Or maybe in your offer, you wanna make sure that you're asking for concessions from the seller to buy down your rate, but you need to know how much that buy down costs you. So have that conversation with your lender before you enter into an offer so that you know how much you're gonna to need to buy down your rate when you're making that offer. Here's a third one, act quickly. In this market that is shifting and the interest rates are volatile right now, you want to act somewhat quickly. You got to make some good decisions for you, but the longer you wait, the more opportunity for that interest rate to shift. So if you find something that feels like it's the right house, you know, do some due diligence, evaluate the information that your real estate professional gives you, and then make an offer that makes sense and ask for some concessions perhaps, but act quickly. Working with a real estate professional through this is really important. So whatever information you receive from your lender, let that real estate professional know so that when we're preparing an offer for you, we want to remind you, don't forget, we want to know how much that that rate buy down is to be able to ask for that on concessions and evaluate it against what the market conditions are showing us that price should be based on the asking price and the offer price. They're not always the same. Sometimes they are, sometimes they aren't. Working with a local real estate agent is so important versus scrolling through the online um, listings that you see. They're going to help you zone in on an area that works within your budget to meet the home size and the amenities that you need for your family or yourselves, depending on what it is. But working with a real estate professional in this market is really helpful and important. Rising interest rates obviously affect the cost of home buying, but it, you got to look at the big picture, long-term investments, um, the area you want to get into because values will continue to grow. If you wait, that value of the home that you're looking at now could be even higher in a few years from now. So, but also consider your financial situation. You don't want to be house poor, meaning that you've spent so much money on that payment that you can't afford to do anything else. You can't even fix it up. So make sure that you're looking at long-term goals. You're looking at your, your total financial situation, specific terms of the, the mortgage. They all play a part in determining, you know, what is the right loan program? What is the right neighborhood? What is the right home size for you? What things are you willing to do on your own as long as you have the financial resources to do it? So when you're making a decision in a shifting market that has interest rate volatility, you really got to look at all of it. That's why we're seeing some sellers sitting on the market a little bit longer because buyers are making more educated decisions. So I'm so glad you're here listening to this video. So make sure you're communicating not only with a good quality lender, a great, great real estate professional, but also as a, a person yourself or as a couple, you're looking at your overall financial picture and your family needs if that's your situation so that you are planning for the future in that home purchase. I'm so glad you watched the video. Thanks so much for being here. If you wanna comment below about any questions you may have, feel free to do that. I'm happy to, to answer any questions that you have. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Happy house, honey.